Okay, I'm going to show you the um, simplest Arduino program, but uh, running in a unique way here, where we are sending uh, commands from a laptop via uh, Telnet to an Android phone, which is talking to an Arduino board over a serial port. And uh, Tim Heath helped get this going for me. So if we look, we've just got uh, the physical pixel sample code. It's uh, just very, very basic, um, looking for the serial input, and then uh, if it sees the character H, it turns the pin on. Um, if it sees a character L for low, it uh, turns a pin off. So that's really all it does. Then, um, and then I've got, uh, over here, we've got PuTTY open with a terminal connection into the phone, which is running a Python script through the Android scripting environment. Um, so we can share this code with you. And it is essentially just listening to whatever I type. So if I just type uh, some random characters here and hit enter, we'll see the random characters show up on the phone. And then coming out of the phone through the little HTC uh, USB breakout port, we're just using the ground and uh, one of the transmission wires. We're going into a uh, breadboard here where we have the ground, and then this is going through a hex inverter chip because we've got 3.3 volts coming out of the phone, uh, so we're going into the chip, back out, back into the chip, and out again, sort of back to the uh, 5 volts needed to go into the Arduino. Uh, then uh, we, simple, we simply have power and ground coming out of the Arduino into the breadboard, and then I've wired up LED 13 um, of course, it has the onboard pin, but this will give us a nice big, big light, and then we're using an external power connector. So, if I go ahead and type H here for high, and hit enter, we see it light up. If I type L for low, it turns off. H for high, L for low. So what can you do with this? Uh, lots of things. We're going to put some of the instructions here um, that, that Tim and I have. Um, together on an instructable so you can do this yourself but the goal is to have uh, really inexpensive computer components here with the with the Freeduino uh, something that's 35 less than 50 bucks then plugged into uh, you know your 400 500 dollar phone and the phone brings with it uh, Wi-Fi advanced processing sensors touch screen uh, data connection you know storage space you name it uh, lots of power coming from the phone and then the Arduino can talk to a robot, simple servo motors, um, and do basic controls to sort of take the phone and connect it with the outside world. Uh, more to come.